On the line right now with me is Crossroads founder David Maines, who is out there once again on his Thank You Canada tour. David, where are you today? Well, I'm actually at uh, the Henderson Park here in uh, Lethbridge right now, and it's an RV park. But last night at uh, the magnificent building, First Baptist Church, we had our gathering for the supporters of the ministry, and, and what a marvelous uh, evening that was. You're uh, connecting with people not only in the evenings, but also in the mornings, noon, you're stopping at Tim Hortons and restaurants. It's, uh, it's quite a blur. Well, I started this uh, leg of the trip at the beginning of September, up in Prince Rupert, worked my way down through the Kicking Horse Pass into Alberta, and I've been going around Alberta until tonight. I'm in Claire's home tonight. And then, uh, by the way, Alberta, Jim, the province of your birth, uh, that's uh, one of Alberta's claims to fame. Uh, <laughs> anyhow, Jim, we love you. Yeah. And uh, so we're heading on, of course, uh, over the weekend. Now, it's Thanksgiving holiday, and Norma Jean is... Uh, is representing our family with uh, our children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren down in Burlington area. While I'm putting in the time heading through the Crow's Nest Pass. Wow, that sounds kind of... along the way, I'll be calling partners, hopefully, and uh, I'll be uh, stopping again at some of the Tim Horton uh, <laughs> uh, coffee shops or whatever, wherever I can find partners that'll come and meet me. Well, and I, I also have been making some visits in hospitals and long-term care facilities along the way, wherever I can find people that have supported the ministry. You know, in many ways, David, I've been thinking about this uh, protracted tour of yours, and in, in, in many ways it's a fulfillment of what you wanted to do 50 years ago, and that is be a pastor to people. You've become a kind of a, a national pastor pastor at large. Uh, tell me, when you're not visiting in hospitals or Tim Hortons or churches, uh, you, you must have some spare time occasionally. W what do you do then? I'll be stopping in some of the most beautiful spots on this planet through the Crow's Nest Pass area. Uh, devotionally right now, I'm reading um, uh, the book by Joseph Ratzinger, Pope Benedict XVI, called Jesus of Nazareth. In fact, I'm on my second uh, trip through this from the entrance into Jerusalem to the resurrection. It's one of the finest Bible study books uh, that I've read. I highly recommend it, uh, called Jesus of Nazareth. Uh, I'm also reading uh, in areas that would interest you greatly in the light of these scientists that you've been uh, interviewing. I'm reading Richard Dawkins' latest book, The Greatest Show on Earth. Now, of course, he's giving what he says is the evidence for evolution. But you need that in one hand. And on the other hand, there's another book that uh, is available in the in uh, chapters, of, you know, or those uh, bookstores by Stephen Meyer. Now, Stephen Meyer has higher credentials as a scientist than Dawkins does, and a big, thick tome here that sometimes makes my head hurt. It's called Signature in the Cell, DNA and the Evidence for Intelligent Design. Hmm. And uh, if one wants a balance here, you need to read both Signature in the Cell uh, in one hand, and then Dawkins is the greatest show on earth. And yeah, I know you did an interview as a scientist concerning yeah. uh, Dawkins's book. Uh, uh, you know, the, the, what is it, the God Delusion? What was it called? Uh, one of those books you did. Yeah. And uh, so, uh, you know, the the, uh, the the scientific literature that's out there is very interesting. I, I wish I had my granddaughter, Ron and Ann's daughter. Uh, she's a Ph.D. student at university uh, in molecular biology, and molecular biology is the greatest friend of creation, uh, you know, uh, intelligent design. And uh, I wish I had her here to, to bounce some things off, but Jim, you're a reader. And uh, so bless your heart. I hope everybody that listens, uh, they're readers and don't just give up on, on reading books. Absolutely, David. And uh, you often uh, shove books my way. I read every one of them. They're always well chosen. Uh, all the best out there on the road. We're praying for you every day. Uh, proud of you. And we look forward to hearing another report sometime next week. Thanks, David. Okay, God bless. Okay, bye-bye. Now, if you want to know where David is going to be over the next little while, here is the list. He's going to be at the Pentecostal Assembly in Clarison, Alberta on uh, the 7th. That's today, uh, later this evening. I think every date is at 7 o'clock, if I'm not mistaken. And then on the 11th, he's going to be in Cranbrook, B.C. at Kootenai Valley Community Church. On Wednesday the 12th, he'll be in a Soyuz, British Columbia at Christian Center. And then on Thursday the 13th, he'll be at Evangel Church in Kelowna. And then uh, a week today, God willing, October the 14th, he'll be at Crossroads Community Church 
in Merritt, B.C.